health collocations. Keep adding to your vocabulary notebook using dictionaries, health-related vocabulary. Hey guys, here's another collocational vocab video. This time we look at health. I do have two full pages of vocabulary related to health and there are still many words that you can add to these pages. Make sure to study these words using dictionaries to see more examples and even more collocations. Okay, let's see my health related vocabulary. Okay, so I have lots of collocations around the noun health. I have health benefits, I have healthcare system, medical services is a near synonym, health insurance, maintain your health or maintain a healthy lifestyle, health is a noun, healthy is an adjective, health risks, mental health, which means psychological health. Up here I have to be in good health or to be in poor health or ill health. For example, the last time I saw him, he was in poor health, which means he was ill or he was sick. On the right hand side, I have ailment, disease, illness, sickness, disorder, which are all synonymous. They're all nouns and they all talk about problems with your health. For example, her mental health began to deteriorate. Deteriorate is a verb and it's a very negative verb. The opposite of this verb in this sentence would be improve. Her mental health began to improve. A very negative collocation for disease would be terminal. A terminal disease is a disease that would kill you. I have suffer from. More and more children are suffering from mental health problems, which means more and more children have mental health problems. Suffer from as a phrasal verb is used very often while talking about health problems or problems in general. You can even use it to talk about financial problems, for example. Next, I have die of something or die from something. And my example is he died of tuberculosis. At the bottom of this page, I talked about getting better. I talked about improving your health. For example, heal is a verb and it means to become healthy again or to make something healthy again. So it can be a transitive verb or an intransitive verb. When you say the cut healed up without leaving a scar, this is the intransitive use of the verb heal. When you say this will help to heal your cuts and scratches, now it's transitive. When I say transitive, I mean an object is used after the verb. And when I say intransitive, no object is used after the verb. Next, I have recover as a verb, which means to restore your health. Another collocation, restore your health. She spent many weeks in hospital recovering from her injuries. Recover from. Recover from your injuries. He has fully recovered from the shoulder surgery. The noun form of recover is recovery. My father has made a full recovery from the operation. Make a recovery or make a full recovery from the operation. So he had an operation, but now he is good as new. He has fully recovered or he has made a full recovery. The word recovery has many collocations down here to make a remarkable, quick, speedy or slow recovery. On my second page, I start with a verb treat. You treat something or you treat somebody. So you can treat a disease, you can treat a condition or you can treat cancer. Antibiotics are used to treat bacterial infections or you treat somebody. The clinic has treated several thousand patients free of charge. Patient is another health related word. We could say it's the contextual opposite of doctor. Here is another example. She was treated for depression with medication prescribed by his doctor. This sentence introduces lots of collocations and new words. So the verb treat is used in its passive form. She was treated for depression. So she had depression and she was receiving treatment for depression with medication prescribed by his doctor. That should be by her doctor, by the way. Sorry about that. So the doctor prescribed medicine or 
the doctor prescribed medication. And the noun form of treat is treatment. He is receiving treatment for shock. She has been undergoing cancer treatment or she is responding well to treatment. She's receiving treatment and her condition is improving. She's responding to treatment. Doctors can also cure something or they can cure somebody. For example, it is better to prevent rather than cure diseases. The doctor managed to cure her of her illness. Cure somebody of a health problem. And cure as a noun. The search for a cure for cancer. A cure for cancer. Down here I have some words that kind of reflect what happens if you have a health disorder. So you go to the hospital and they examine you. They carry out an examination. And then they diagnose the problem, which is called diagnosis. And then they treat you, which is the treatment. So examine is a verb, examination is a noun, diagnose is a verb, diagnosis is a noun, treat is a verb, and treatment is a noun. And once the treatment starts, there are different things that the doctors may do. They may prescribe medicine, or you may have to undergo surgery. Doctors perform surgery on patients. Patients undergo surgery, or maybe physical rehabilitation. Okay, here on the right, we start with an adjective, contagious. The new disease proved contagious. They ran some tests, and the result was that the disease was contagious, just like the coronavirus. To contract is a verb. You can contract a virus, you can contract a disease, you can contract measles, and it means to get a disease. Somebody has the virus, you establish close contact, and then you get the virus. You contract the virus. Next, I have spread as a verb. The disease is spread by mosquitoes. The virus is primarily spread from person to person through coughing and sneezing. Finally, I have epidemic, which means a disease or a virus that affects a certain community. And then I have pandemic. We use the word pandemic to talk about a disease or a virus that affects countries, maybe even the whole world. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching and keep adding to your vocabulary notebook and reviewing it. Take care.